Hey guys, welcome back to Mafia Definitive Edition. So what can I say about the last episode? It was absolutely perfect. It started off with Frank and Tommy in the car and Frank giving Tommy this crazy speech and how he could one day run the city and this and that. And then he also told him a little story about him and the Don, how they became friends and how they pretty much build the family from the ground up, the origins of the family, if you will. Fast forward a little bit afterwards, we find out that there's been an informant or eh, I guess we could call him an informant in the family. And well, spoiler alert, it turned out to be Frank. I've got to be honest, I was a little disappointed and I was kind of in denial at first and then we found out. But then towards the end of the episode, we find out why he did it. And I kind of agreed with him. I felt like what what else could he do, right? Thankfully, Tommy being who he is, and we already start to see that he's really not this crazy evil person. He's got a heart. He's he's obviously in this, but he, he's not very proud of himself. Tommy let him live. And he faked his death. He faked like he killed him and they had a funeral for him. And <sighs> dude, this game is so good. Thank you for being here. I hope you are enjoying the playthrough. If you are, drop it a like. That really helps out the channel. It helps the videos grow. It helps the channel grow. And, uh, you know, makes me pretty happy. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's do this. Visiting rich people, 1933. Look at these houses, big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. <laughs> that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. See, si. who capisce you? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy, Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pi favori. Get it going. So this this guy only speaks Italian or what? Parli almeno un po' di italiano. Il capo ti ha detto il piano. Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. <laughs> He's like, all right, awesome, <laughs> excellent. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La casaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella casaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo <laughs> Santo. 
Nobody understands nobody. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. See, you gotta keep safe. Safe? See, uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro Casaforte. Open safe. Christ. Okay. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Excelente. Yeah, let's listen to the radio. We don't know what the hell we're talking about. Alright, I think we're almost there. Here we are, fellas. I want to say it's the house on the right. We're going to park right here. Oh, we got to park on the... Never mind. It's so subtle on the ground that it's kind of like hard to see it sometimes. Are we good? No? Good now? Yeah? Okay. There we go. Echo. Entriamo da lì. Over. Oh. Labirinto. What? Vedrai. Breaking and entering. Ooh. Oh, amaze. Si. Un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno i labirinti. Oh, okay. So that confirms that confirms that the exclamation marks are indeed the guards. Perfect. Do places like this really have guards guarding like that, just walking around randomly? Why just not keep watch atop over there where you can see everything? You've got like a bird's eye view. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Oh, hello there, buddy. Can we holster the weapon? And now you go to sleep. And don't you dare say a peep. You understand? Okay. I think there was one more guard. I could be wrong. Yeah, there's one more. He's up there. Can I hold over this? No. Oh, so I gotta go this way. Oh, no. I can jump through here. Ooh, look at this. Man, unfortunately, there was no suppressors. Nice evening for standing around, I guess. Look at the puddles when he steps on them. Pretty well, pretty well done, I must say. That's a fucking huge pool. Holy smokes. Got him. All right, they're all dead. That's all of them. Salvatore. Oh no, where do you oh, me. I hear oh, <laughs> Look at that Tommy gun. Where the hell did he go? Wait. Bro, what the hell? Guys are pain in the ass. Dude, what the frick? Oh, there he is. Bro. Are you crazy? What? Alright, enter the prosecutor's mansion. No shit. What kind of luck picker are you? Look for a dipinto. 
What? Da Vinci, Caravaggio. Hai capito? Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. So typical. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. Hmm. Are we just gonna go smashing doors? Okay, good. Could it be this one? No. It's never the first one you check. Behind here. What is this? Read the note. American will not fall into the temptation. Prohibition. Prohibition must not be rep uh, repelled. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debo de debauchery, debauchery, debauchery. Instead, be filled with the spirit. Oh, Empire Bay mob boss murdered. Spectacular pictures of vile kingpin's fiery end. Notorious race uh, uh, racketeer, I'm sorry, Tommaso Moretti was killed outside his Empire Bay residence last Thursday afternoon. The sole victim of a car of a car bomb undoubtedly planted by the underworld rival. Bay residents will hope that Moretti's death brings to an uh, brings an end to the spate of gang violence that has rocketed their city, uh, that has rocked their city in the recent months. A few will mourn his passing. Hmm. It's got to be this one. Run. Is there anything here? I feel like we've never been here. What the frick is this? Wait, we have been here. This is the entrance, right? Hmm. Let me get this collectible. Yo, that's an M1 carbine, isn't that? Ah, oh, I thought we were gonna be able to pick that up. It might be over here, over here where the pink painting is. If not, it's definitely it's definitely gonna be upstairs. It's a big ass house. Was he gonna hurt her? But she started fucking. You know what I mean? She started freaking screaming and shit. Ma'am, ma'am. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Hold on, let me check the kitchen. Man, this house is freaking crazy big. For sure. So this is make it in there. Go out the way, dude. <sighs> there it is, baby. There it is. Letter from uh, Gilotti. 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 Prosecutor Watkins, I am writing uh, to thank you. If you can truly give us reliable witnesses, testimonies, and evidence of, of that Salieri had uh, that Salieri had Billy killed, I'll be in your debt. The priest's story never rang true. So the priest talked. The, the priest talked, and now he's dead and buried. This feels like our last throw of the dice. If witnesses ask for too high a price, I will cover it. Likewise, our mutual friend will be able to apply some pressure, stamping out uh, Salieri and the family. Would be good for all of us. These are dangerous times. 
I worry for your safety and the safety of your family. You will soon receive some men at your home who will protect you. Not anymore, Roberto, because uh, they're gone. Sure. Show me what you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pachenza, Pachenza. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Okay, he did. He's real dead. Now I see why we have uh, mechkits here. Kind of asking, like, wait, wait, what do we have mechkits? It's not like any gunfight or anything here, but uh, now I see that there is. Got him. Oof. Ah, darn it. Come on, peek your little ass out. He wants to go throw a Molotov at me. What a fool. Salvatore, stay back. Finally, I get your first time. Wow, dude, I was literally gonna go and get a make it. Oh, we're escape the mansion. We're taking the car. No, what am I doing? God damn it! Arrivederci! Get in the fucking car! I don't know what I just said. I just said the only word I know in Italian. I think it's Italian, and uh, I don't even know if I said the. the never mind. All right, we're getting out of here. Presto. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. Police? I think we got like the slowest fucking car ever. We did it. He's gone. Go back to patrols. Ah, grazie a Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, we're home. Uh, six uh, and uh, Maple. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna go that way. There's cops there. That's why I turned around. There's a freaking whole squad of cops right there. I will make a right here instead. Go against the grain, against the traffic. Because I break the rules. Why would the game tell me to go there? There's literally cops right there. I'm gonna go around. There we go. That's a smarter decision. Oh, look at this little neighborhood here. Very New Yorkish. Very nice. Ah! I'm sorry, the road is wet. What? Sorry. Don't you dare give me attitude. I will get off this car and I'll put a cap on your ass. All right, I think we're good, boys. Where does this guy even live? I wish we had a, like a distance reader or something so I could know like how far exactly we are. That way I can know to shut the heck up or just keep talking. Oh, there's a cop right there to the right. 
Tony, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' di italiano per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh, sure. Something along the lines of next time, let me do it. Uh, and the rest, I don't remember right now. It was your fault. Blah, blah, blah. Something like that. Good night. Night. Chapter complete. Visiting rich people. Great deal. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries. And I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. Mm -mm. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we got to do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Mm. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. <laughs> I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. Ah, uh, this is not gonna go good. Somebody's gonna die here. I just know it. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shit yourself. Ah, uh, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. <laughs> Listen. I spend more time with a Don than all of you's put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> if you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. The boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you coming. The boss said you coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sour on Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's hmm. why we're pretending to stick him up. 
Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. <laughs> this plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. You're going pretty fast, man. <laughs> this is the fastest I've ever gone in this game. All right, we're here. I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen. Someone's gonna die here, dude. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Drive to the top floor. Okay. Man, these graphics look nice. Place seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Whew. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Polly? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Man, this portion of the game looks super realistic. Holy smokes. Polly! Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well... I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. Hey, whiskey. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. Whoa, damn it, Polly! Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't worry, pal. All the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, shit. No, damn it. come for me no, go 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 so long as you guys clear him out up ahead i'll be safe here with the little guy carlo in the cab with me you know you stead tommy check for more of them this thing ain't over come on i'll back you up what the frick dude oh my god put on boys Got 
Alright, these guys are annoying, man. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Myself some health. Come on, punks. Oh. oh, that was my idea in the first place, kind of. Oh, right here. Their way through this fence. Wait, what? This way? Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Kick your ass. All right, I'm gonna re up on grenades, explosives, and all the good stuff. How do I get out of here? Oh, we're here. Close and keep moving, fellas. Keep the boost safe. I'll move the truck with you. You see more, you shoot it. New this wasn't over. Oh, hello there, buddy. Got a problem? You too? Come on, bitch. Fucking around anymore. You guys need to hurry up. These cars are gonna blow up. Oh, there was a health uh, kit back there. Hold on, what do we got here? Oh, this dude's dead. Talk to Sam. Okay. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Oh. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? Dude, what if it was Sam? City. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I trust Sam, but that look that the, the camera panned into his face. What if it was Sam? I knew it. We got more guys on us. Okay, let's slow him down some. Hit him where it hurts. Got him. Come on, baby, let's go. <laughs> Woo! Shit! Fuck! Alright, we've got another one right here. Guys after us. Another motor coming after the bulls truck. Come on, asshole. Come on, come on. Shit! Got him. Woo! Sam's going through the Hoover <gasps> So I guess we are too. <laughs> but I didn't see that. I was looking back trying to make sure the car wasn't on us. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh fuck it, hey! Oh, shit. They don't stop coming, do they? I think we're clear, honestly. What are you shooting, Polly? What the freaking? <laughs> Wait, is there a truck? There's oh, there's a car over there. I, I couldn't see it on the mini map because it was so close to. Oh shit! All right, let's get a little closer. 
here. Mm. Little extra for your ass. Little extra for your ass. Yeah, that's right. Little extra for that ass. I, I just wanted to, I, I really just, just wanted to ram him. We lost them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home, see what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah, so tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. We're here, all fucked up, but we're here. <laughs> Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder. But uh, he's a tough blocker. I think he's Sam... dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. I think it was Sam. Look at him. <sighs> Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo. Saludo. And please don't let it be Sam. I really hope it's not Sam. I really do. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Woken up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy. It was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in '34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was a missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Wow. Bon appetit. ...with his face and pasted it on his face. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. He's older already, too. There you go, boss. Look at the hair. <laughs> I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. <laughs> you got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Oh, the high life. Damn, boss. Wait. 
damn. Very nice. <laughs> it's a nice whip you got there. All right. So how's business, Tom? Yeah, hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. Oh, this is a fast car. Sort of person, though. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. At Behringer Sporting Goods, we carry everything you need Woo! to pursue a healthy body and mind. Yo, this is lit. A regular exercise program will have you looking great and feeling fantastic. This is awesome. Sporting goods today. Yo, this car is fast, bro. Taking the wrong turn there, buddy. Be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's a better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. Alright, so maybe Sam was in it. Like, maybe Sam had nothing to do with it. Maybe I was just... I was... I don't know, man. I was tripping out. So, I don't know if Pepe's is Pepon or that mob boss that we talked about earlier. But right now, this is the high life. We are living in the good times. And as they say, let the good times roll, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassata, Tom? Oh. Wow, look at that car. Oh, Holy hey, smokes. More wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don't so it. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. No, I'm he's not. Drive, eh? He's not another mob boss. What's on the menu today? <laughs> my mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny. Oh, uh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? <laughs> See, please. <laughs> and to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. <laughs> what? Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Uh oh. Get down! What the hell? Morello! Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Wow. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out!
We aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Only. Tom. Just be quick about it. Damn, dude. What the fuck? Boss wants me to be quick about it. So I'm gonna be quick about it. You understand? I'm gonna be extra quick about it. Boss, I got this. Try to keep your head down. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Dude, how'd they know I was here? You guys don't fucked up with me right now. Okay, they're not shooting me back, so we're good. Idiots, I'm over here. Come on, do something. Okay. Bro, what up? Oh, the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Oh my freaking lord. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. And now the cops, of course. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his son's, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. Yo, that's wild. You take a guy in. You give him a place in your family. You give him respect. And this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the bedding house, the ambush oh. at the parking garage. Any of them could have been him. But what if it wasn't? Damn, dude. Fuck, this game is... Got me guessing right now. All right, Carlos. Boss, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got caught slipping. You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, bus? Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, ah! he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Uh, 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 <laughs> Imagine you're banging and you get. <laughs> Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! Get out the way! We're going to kill me! Oh, you're gonna die. Right here, right now. Are you dying, bitch? You rats. Oh, 
boss. I can explain everything. Bro, I'm right here. What? <laughs> Tommy, you gotta know. Bro, he was gonna kill mom. I had to do it. I had to. They made me do it, Tommy. Please. Damn, that's cold. Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Recognized you. What do you do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. That all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. The crew we sent is dead. The restaurants all shot to hell. Step your cried. Can't have a conversation here. What about the, uh, <laughs> the cockroach, Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <clears throat> so the yeah, must have figured Carlo was the right. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to <clears throat> shut the fuck up. <clears throat> We've been at war since Kill Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell the little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Wow. <sighs> My eyes are like bloodshot red right now. Yeah. Wow. Guys, if you are enjoying this game, let me know. Drop it a like. I would really appreciate all the love and support we can get on this series. It's a good one, and I feel like it deserves it. It's God. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that was a good one.